This is Don Allen at Texas A&M University and I'm introducing a course this fall on WEPS, W-E-P-S, uh, titled The History of Mathematics. This course is a uh, sweeping course on most of the history of mathematics. Its range is from prehistory to current times. We'll begin uh, with prehistory, of course, and then move to the contributions uh, from Egypt and Babylon and see what they have done mathematically, and then uh, move into the golden age of geometry uh, introduced by the Greeks, um, including uh, household names such as uh, Euclid and Archimedes and many others. This forms uh, a great part of the course. Uh, we then look at Islamic contributions. These, uh, the Islamics were the uh, uh, repositories of uh, all the ancient Greek contributions uh, up until uh, the Renaissance and also made independent contributions in algebra and number theory. We look slightly at the Dark Ages and then mathematics emerg emerging from the Dark Ages. Uh, in particular we'll look at uh, Fibonacci and uh, other mathematicians of the time. Moving into the Renaissance uh, where uh, modern mathematics just begins, we we'll look at a number of the uh, leading figures of that uh, time. And finally we move into modern times which we'll say begins around the 17th century up until the 20th century. As you can see here we have uh, uh, clips from uh, Egypt uh, the, on the left, which is a, uh, a description for the student. It's in a student textbook on how to find the area of a frustum. On the right, it's a table of squares, which is uh, uh, Babylonian. But the real history of uh, mathematics is, as we know it began in Greece and uh, in particular you may think of Pythagoras and Thales as the originators but it moved on. Eudoxus and uh, Euclid and Archimedes were the uh, bright bright stars of the Greek heritage in mathematics. The Islamic contributions were enormous, immense, uh, particularly in the area of algebra and uh, Quasimi here, uh, pictured in the stamp, is a uh, uh, often called the father of algebra, having uh, developed thoroughly the uh, uh, solution of quadratic equations. Uh, all through history of mathematics, and uh, even now, there's been a a strong desire of people and mathematicians and everyone else to understand the stars and how they work and as you may know Johannes Kepler was uh, the first to uh, produce a, uh, a theory of planetary motion. Uh, following Kepler and Galileo and others uh, came Isaac Newton, who was a genius beyond measure, who wanted to explain gravitation and had to invent calculus to do it. He is certainly one of the great mathematicians of all time, physicists too. Mathematics emerged from a long, uh, uh, a long period of analysis, which is calculus and beyond uh, into the area of set theory where uh, a lot of mathematics is being done now and the first proponent of that in the last part of the 19th century was George Cantor and uh, we'll talk about his contributions and his sad story through the course and the course here's the course it consists of readings videos and online homework. 
All of this will be uh, conducted through the web's uh, site and uh, you may contact uh, the University of uh, Helsinki, Open University, uh, to enroll and you can contact uh, myself for more details on how to apply and how the course operates.